Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper and I wanted to talk very briefly about North Korea, just do a little bit of an update. I did a video series a few weeks ago on it and in that video series I said we need to kind of wait and see and I've been waiting and seeing and I wanted to just talk about you know what's been going on the past month. I thought this would be a good setting because recently I did a video about these goldfish tanks and I got I don't know, maybe a little bit of criticism that I never showed my actual goldfish in there. And the reason for that was that they, they just don't photograph very well or videotape through these bars. Uh, it's just kind of ugly. Uh, but I just fed them, which brings them up to the surface, using my, my Tetrafin goldfish food. I'd, I'd recommend this. I'm sure there's lots of good goldfish foods out there on the market, but this one works really well. It keeps them alive. It keeps the water uh, nice. It's the giant prepper size. Uh, you know, because we buy everything in bulk, don't we? It's 4.526 pounds. I don't know where they came up with that number. You might be like, oh, well, it must be a metric thing. You know, no, uh, the, it's it's 2,050 grams. So it's not even a, an even 2,000. I don't know. But it works really well. It wasn't very much money, and it keeps them healthy and, you know, seeming to be alive. So I would recommend that. So I got some shots of them eating the food, and I will cut to it while I blab about North Korea, because even though the shots of the fish are very poor in quality, you can hardly see the fish. It's more interesting than watching my face and my awesome Batman shirt that I've gotten a lot of criticism about and that's why I'm wearing it today. Sorry. Yeah, so here's the shots of the fish. And let's talk about North Korea a little bit. Uh, in the initial series, I uh, suggested that the situation was as follows. The North Koreans were continuing with, with, with their weapon program and they said they're not gonna stop. The United States says, that shit can't stand, dude, you gotta stop. You can't threaten the continental United States. And the Chinese kind of, who are the other, you know, big influencer in the region, it didn't seem like they had much influence over anything. And over the past four weeks, uh, the situation has been that the North Koreans have continued their nu nuclear weapons program. They've had successes. They've had failures with a lot of uh, tests. Kind of more than usual. Uh, not, you know, aggressively more than usual. Kind of aggressively more than usual. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they've had successes and they've had failures. A lot of people have laughed at their failures, but if you personally are the kind of person that gets up off your ass and actually does anything, you know from your own experience that a failure teaches you just as much, if not more, than a success. So people laughing at the North Koreans having some failures here and there don't know what you know, research <laughs> and, and, and trial and error and experimentation looks like because they're learning just as much from their missiles blowing up on the launch pad as they are from the actual successes. Uh, the uh, Chinese continue to not really seem to be able to influence the North Koreans, at least, you know, per it persuade them to stop all of this crazy nuclear, uh, you know, development. And the United States has despite the fact that they said they're not going to sit around and watch the North Koreans develop their nuclear weapons program, has over the past month sat around and watched the North Koreans develop their nuclear weapons program. Uh, the, the fact that the, the Americans have not invaded or created uh, some sort of military kinetic response to it, I, it may sound like I'm criticizing that, but I'm not. I think that would be a terrible idea. The, the Americans have kind of like shuffled you know, warships around the, the Pacific, you know, kind of like threatening and everything, but they haven't actually launched anything, and um, they haven't they haven't destroyed anything yet. And I I think that that's a good thing. I think it would be very good to try to find a solution that's not military, because a military solution would suck. And I outlined that in the earlier videos. I'll put a link below, so I don't have to talk about it all over again. Uh, but that would be a dreadful situation for the for the Americans as well as the North Koreans and the South Koreans and the Japanese and everybody else in the region. It would be much better to find a solution that is not military to this problem. And it is a problem. It is an intolerable situation that the North Koreans could someday soon threaten the continental United States with a nuclear weapon. Because you or I or anybody else living in Canada or, or North America, anywhere, we don't want to live in a world where some nut job that thinks he's the son of a son of a god, that was, like a, that was a Jimmy Buffett song, wasn't it? Son of a son of a god, I think. Look at that. Uh, we don't want to live in a world where, you know, we could be annihilated based on, like, his whim or his mood of the day or, or whatever. I, that is an intolerable situation. We need to find a way around that. I don't think military action is the best way. I hope that there is something else that people can figure out. We'll see about that. Uh, but that's where things are right now. Uh, and there ha the only thing that's really developed, aside from watching the United States kind of go back on what they said about, like, we're not going to stand by and watch this, 
uh, is that the North Koreans have been testing some missiles that uh, are of longer range than uh, other, a lot of the intelligence community had presumed that they were capable of. Uh, one in particular uh, looks like it would have been capable of uh, attacking Guam, which is the U.S. territory, and certainly uh, you know, exploding over any of the U.S. fleet and uh, deploying a, a nuclear warhead. So that's where things are. North Korea continues to get stronger and more dangerous. The United States, at the moment, hasn't really done much of anything outwardly. I hope that they're doing back channels. I presume that they're, do they're working back channels. I hope that they're doing back channels. My goodness, I can't say that enough. Um, hopefully the Chinese are brainstorming, <laughs> figuring some shit out on their end. Um, but the situation hasn't gotten safer. Uh, nothing's happened yet, and that's good. Uh, but the, the tension is still there, and it is only the stakes are only getting higher, and things are only getting uh, more dangerous. So that's what things are. We'll continue to wait and see, continue to prep. Prepping is always good for everything. Someone mentioned recently in one of the comment feeds that prepping is all an illusion. That's completely bullshit. I, I don't usually uh, make a statement like that. <laughs> I'm usually kind of a little bit more diplomatic, but the idea that prepping is just total illusion is bullshit because I have been helped out by my preps more times than I can mention on this channel. The, the world hasn't come to an end here in the United States, uh, but prepping isn't just for North Korea blowing us up or, you know, setting off an EMP or the aliens invading with their bird flu. Let's cut to the shot. Let's cut to that video right now. Aliens invading with bird flu. I don't want to diminish that. That is a serious threat. Watch out for that shit, dude. Uh, but prepping is not just for that stuff. It's for all the little things in life. It's for getting laid off from your job. It's from getting locked out of your house. It's from your car breaking down. It's all the little things. So the idea that prepping is just an illusion is total bullshit. Uh, being prepared for things is a good thing. Uh, and I don't think that idea needs to be defended any more than I just did. So that's it. Keep prepping. Keep watching. Keep paying attention, and uh, let's wait and see. We'll see how it goes. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.